messy hair because i don't care hey, hey sister coach how are you guys doing it's me johnny sports left by himself my editor has his day off ah oh, lads there's gonna be one day every week where biscuit has his day off and today is that day wish me luck editing this one i'll try my best but welcome to the cristiano ronaldo jr my player series that we have been enjoying in the past weeks and boys we are here salford city is our squad we're currently in that fourth position and lads i'm trying my best i'm trying my absolute hardest absolute absolute hardest to get this team into the ta -ta -ta top of this division if possible now our own performances have been very nice we have 28 games 15 goals and five assists Cristiano is on fire. He is set in the starting lineup, but the team, every time we don't play, they suck. Hopefully, today will be a different story, and the transfer window is about to open up just four days until we get to the transfer window, boys. This is going to be a madness. If you're excited for today's episode, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe down below, and turn on el notificaciones do it by the way can we get this epic to 3k likes i think we can let's try it lads help me out what the hell happened to laporte's face there on the left though are you okay laporte what's what's going on mate are you all right then we're gonna start off today's episode with melor up top i just don't get what the issue is with ronaldo uh, with kai rooney i've seen there was a tweet <laughs> of kai rooney <laughs> i think he put it on, on his instagram story and someone else actually put it on twitter it said we lost 5-4 today i scored four goals <laughs> i kind of felt bad for the kid but that's elite mentality right there the guy is getting four goals man what an absolute beast but let's go into the squad hub and let's check it out one more time i need to understand why this team isn't playing the highest rated player in the squad rooney has finally gone up to a 66 I actually think he started off at a 64, so he did get a plus two, but playtime-wise, he's not happy. He's better than Henderson. He's better than Milor. He's better than Elliot. Why is the coach not playing in? We don't know. We don't know what's going on here. Top scorer, obviously, it's us. Henderson is doing well, though, so congratulations, Henderson. Well done, buddy, but uh, I need him to go. I need him to go. I need Kai Rooney to get playtime, and here he goes. Talking about playing, here is the first match of today's episode. And as we go through it, we're going to be looking at some of the comments right here real quick. Rodrigo Lovato says, Johnny, you have a perk that makes your team defend better. It's right besides the chance creation one. Maybe activate that before we actually go into the game. Maybe we should check that out real quick. So perks, which one makes our team defend better? This one, defensive cover, boost defensive abilities for all teammates. Oh, hey, you know what? I don't think we need the distance shooter. We're going to go with that one. We're going to try and make our team to defend better. But then again, it, it only comes down to when we play the games, right? And every time we play the games ourselves, they weren't too bad. But for now, I'm going to try that out. Maybe that will allow us to get the ball more often. Because when the opponent has the ball, getting the ball back into our team is one of the hardest things to do. And then finally, to this Port Vale game, it only counts. Our average rating just counts. Uh, and it, it looks terrible. Uh, it's a 2-1 loss every time. Every freaking time when we go ahead and sim, we just lose the game. It's sad to see. It really is sad to see that this team is so dependent of Cristiano. And then the question is, what happens? And by the way, why did I say then? Am I talking German English? What the hell is going on? And then that's the sentence, Johnny. But right now, we have a few days leading up to January. And once we get there, man, a decision has to be made. A decision about our career. And I've been thinking about this for quite some time. And I just feel like it wouldn't be the wrong choice to leave. I feel like we are too good. And I feel if a player did so well in half a season in League 2, everyone would try and get him immediately before all the other big teams discover him and put him into their team. That's my personal opinion, especially if it's Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. and people already know about him. But here it goes. Can we finally step up? It's a 1-1 draw. Ronaldo Jr. scores in a sixth minute. Maybe our match rating will not be too bad. Let's see. Oh, it's still a minus 15. Cool story, bro. 
the coaches are not too happy. A 1-1 one, one draw is okay, but I, I would like to see some wins from the team without me, ideally. And here we go. January 2022. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. What's going to be happening in January here? Is he going to stay? Is he going to leave? Do we have any transfer offers or not? Now, just in case, just so we actually see any transfer offers coming in, I am going to re request the transfer offer. Now, I do know that the coach can basically deny it uh it used to be like that so i wonder will he deny it or will he grant our wish and maybe use the funds to increase increase the team's strength in other positions because obviously right now we are doing bits for the squad now we are up against a 23rd place team surely surely right right yes there we go and we scored a goal early on we seem to be an early scorer I like that. 2-1 victory against one of the lowest rated teams. Man of the match. That's what we do, baby. Man of the match. Come on. Oh, manager's message. Transfer request. A note to advise you that I'm considering your request to be transfer listed. I shall discuss the matter with the board and get back to you with my decision shortly. All right, man. 31 games, 17 goals, 6 assists. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a couple of teams wanting us. Question is, who is that going to be? And here it is, boys. FA Cup round three. That is the match that I advertised at the last episode's end. And this is what we have been waiting for. A Premier League side. After Crystal Palace and the massive loss, can we impact the team enough to get something out of a match against a Premier League team? Can we come up with one of the biggest upsets of the season? Here we go. Recent transfer request. I request, I considered it, but have decided to turn down that request in the best interest of the football club. All right, manager. I see you, bro. I see you. How about how about this, though? How about if I request it again? What happens? Are you going to drop me from the team? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, buddy? Tell me. Now, despite all the madness, boys, you can trust me. I am going to give it my absolute everything in this match. It is a Premier League side. It's another opportunity for us to prove ourselves to Leicester City as well as maybe a player that they might be interested in for the future. Who knows? But we are ready to go. We're ready to go after this. I am assuming our team is going to be getting destroyed, but I will still put my hardest work into this and hopefully... With that perk that we now have enabled as well, as you can see in the top right, we might, might stand a chance here. I don't know. Maybe we will defend better, but so far we're getting absolutely ruined. Luckily, we do get out of the way. Come on, Salford. I believe in you, man. You guys can do it. If only Kai Rooney would be here to play. That's some good movement of the ball. I'll try and make my way inside. I am inside. No cross coming in yet. Corner kick. I do take these from the right-hand side, and I do take them quite well. Go on, then. Is that a decent cross? It is. It's a header. It's cleared off the line. Bring it back to me. I see you there. I see you there. Go on. Get to it. No, he won't. But well, it's the first chance of the game created by Cristiano. Good passing. Salford. Moving inside. There's a moment. How the hell did he pass that to me that fast? That was an incredible pass. Wow. Did not expect that one bit. Oh, that's a great ball. The keeper comes out and he gets it. What's a legend? Play to me. I'm open. Hello. Thank you. All right. Cristiano, can you make something off of this? These guys are Prem players. You got to be very creative to get past them. It's getting blurry again. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. By the way, some people were saying in the comments down below. Oh, God. They were saying that it gets blurry because of Cristiano getting tired. Lads, I know that is technically a feature at times. But we got blurry vision in the ninth minute in one of the games. And it even happens in Ultimate Team and stuff. So be aware of that as we cross it in. Go on. Oh, my God. Oh, we are so close to scoring against the Prem side. It's ridiculous. Another cross. Ronaldo whips it in. No, we just can't get it this time. I need my teammate to make, my, make his run here. There we go. Go on, left back. Go on, mate. Decent pass. Quality finish. Mate, we're getting chances after chances against Leicester. I can't believe what I'm seeing. And it's blurry. Love it. Cross coming in. No good header there this time. Oh, go on. Give it to me. Uh, why did I why did I tell him to give it to me? <gasps> oh my god. That 
might just be one of the most satisfying goals I've ever scored in any FIFA. That is genuinely ridiculous. I thought that was a stupid call for a pass. Oh my mate, I love this game. I love the fact that long shots are actually usable. Oh, that reminds me of the young Cristiano, you know. His dad, when he was young, was banging shots like that in all the time. And now he does it. Now he does it. Luckily, we have decent teammates paying attention. Defensively, we are actually doing better, boys. Thank you so much for the suggestion of that perk being enabled. Because I can genuinely tell how our players are just moving better defensively. Look at that. Look at that. Even trying interceptions. You boys can switch it if you want to. Oh, my Lord. What a terrible pass. Dude, the left back is always out of position. What kind of rating is he going to have after this game? He's like never in his right spot. I'm always covering for him. This guy needs to chill. He's moving forward too much. Leicester is making some decent uh, attacking shapes. And they just score. They just nearly scored there. But our goalkeeper is actually goated. So it's all good. Henderson is coming on. Uh, Melor is coming off. No, Hunter it is this time. Okay, I see you. Only 10 minutes to survive, boys. Only 10 minutes. Ihanacho. Doing his bits here. Ihanacho brings the ball inside. Leicester hit the post. The post? The post. <laughs> we get so lucky. Leicester should have easily scored a goal right there. Dude, the left back is actually angering me right now. He's pushing me out of position. He's like getting into my space all the time. Mm, this could be bad. This could be very bad. It's a shot. Eighty-eighth minute, Leicester equalised. Can you believe it? I score such an absolutely incredible banger, and Ihanacho goes ahead and does the same. I'm gonna need that ball on my feet right now. Right now, you guys can't seem to be able to do it. All right, let me do it. Let me do it. There we go. Nice movement. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. I'm here. Get the get out of my way, bro. Get out of my way, man. Oh, go on. Ah, get out of my way. I was about to try to finesse there. 1-1, one, one, Leicester. Ah, it's a huge, huge victory, I guess you would have to say, for our team in terms of what we have shown here, in terms of our ability to compete with Leicester. Um, but obviously, without me scoring that wonder goal, we would have gotten smashed here by Leicester. They had the better chances. And apparently we achieved absolutely nothing. That's cool. There he is. The young man is walking in and he has completed all the objectives. Still, though, you can kind of tell that the team is aware of the fact that they might have just missed out on a huge opportunity. A moment for the history of the club to beat a Premier League side. But it just didn't work out for us, which is, after all, a sad sight. The coach will not be happy with this. I mean, he will probably take some positives out of it for sure, but... Yeah, we could have done better. And the manager has turned down our request one more time. Is it a thing of like having to request it multiple times for it to happen? Or what is the thing here? What is going to determine us being able to move away? It's Leicester again. I'm obviously going to try and score another banger. But we have low stamina. Rooney is playing up top. Oh, this is it. This is it. For the objective, I'm going to go with the 8.5 match rating. I know that is very ambitious, but that's who we are, man. Go on, Kai. Nice dribbling. Oh. He's trying, though. He's trying. If you can, get that to me. Oh, beautiful. I'll pass that back inside. One more to me. Bang. That's what I do. That's what I do, Lester. You thought it was a one-off. It wasn't. So Come on! By the way, there was a comment from Elfas who says, have to say, Johnny looks absolutely huge when he does the Sioux celebration. Keep up the grind in the gym. I will, baby. Today was, or as I'm recording this, it was day 100 of me working out continuously. The only days that I've taken off was because of the vaccine, uh, uh, because I, I felt a little bit ill, and because of my holiday in Iceland. That's all we did, boys. I am getting there with these finesse shots, man. I love this game so much. It's so nice to play down the wing because you get these chances so many times to cut in and bang it in. But that other goal in the first game, 
that was even more special. This one felt like it, it just it just was destined to happen as soon as I got into the right angle. Oh, this could be something. Is it actually happening? Is it happening? It wasn't just a one-off in the last game. We might actually beat a Premier League side. I can't believe I'm saying this, but that defensive perk, boys, it does wonders. It does absolute wonders for our team. They're playing so much better. Asante, this is not his first goal that he scored like this, by the way. It's his second already, at least. He scored a bunch of long shots already. I didn't even tell him to shoot. He was like, dude... I don't need you to tell me what I, what to do. I can do this by myself. Go on, Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's up against Herrera, though. I tried going through his legs, but didn't quite work out. Go on, then. Beautiful. Whoppa. Oh, no. Red time. It, it turned into a cross. <laughs> Play down to me on the left. Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. is on his run again. This is what he likes to do. He's moving it back to his left back who loves to move forward. Cristiano into Kai. Kai, what are you doing? What's happening, Kai? I'm trying to cover these passing lanes, but I don't know for how long we can hold back Leicester. They are starting to take over in this game. And now they might just be in. They might just be in with incredible dribbling from Lookman. Lookman! Oh, he goes for that one, doesn't he? Now, I have the ball down the wings. Do I? Do I actually? Oh, my God. I just slid right past the ball there. That's not good, is it? Here goes Tielemans. Tielemans still under control. It's a shot and another one. 2-1. Leicester make it back one more time. Okay. There's still one goal cushion. Thanks to Asante. My goal has been equalized. It's all about paying attention to the details now. Nice. Good stuff. Good movement here. Kai Rooney on the run. I, I am running. I am running. That's a beautiful pass. Cristiano! I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Just for the people out there, bro. I Look, boys. I'm not cheating in this, all right? I'm just telling you. These are the sliders. You can take a look at them every time you want to. They're all on basically the default or whatever you call it in English. But boys, I am having so much fun with these shots. I'm trying my best to help our team defensively, but our left back is the worst defensively, bro. He just doesn't pay any attention to anything that's going around him. Oh, thank God we just got that one off of him. I'm going to make a big switch here. Look at that. That's just absolutely amazing. What a pass that is from Cristiano. There they go. This is it. Pat Sandaka. Pat Sandaka has it on his feet. Please. Oh, lads. Come on. Get it away now. Now I am on the left. I am making my runs. Kai. That's an incredible pass into Kai Rooney. He's by himself, though. What's what's he supposed to do, lads? You got to support him. You got to support him. Only one minute left. We're about to beat a Premier League side at their home ground. Can they score that? It's offside. We're saved. We are saved. Luckman was offside in that moment. And with that, this match should be done. Referee, blow the whistle. Put the League 2 side into the round four. FA Cup round four. Cristiano worked hard for it in two matches. And he gets it done in the end. It would be literally impossible without him, though. The perks help so much. They help so much. They make this team so much better. Without the perks, this would be a completely different story, lads. I am so happy that we pulled it off. My objectives are, again, not showing up. Why is that a thing? Why, why is that a thing? Is this now normal now? Is this my new norm? Is that what it is? <sighs> yeah. Everyone is dancing. Even Rooney is happy. Look at him. Look at this man. Turnbull is going on. He's, he's going on. He's turning up. Let's say that. Going on. What the hell is that? Oh, man. This is just a beautiful sight. A team that meets in a, a, a Premier League side from League 2. That probably has happened in the past as well, but it just feels so special to us now. This is a huge moment. But 
do these players know that I'm trying to find my way out of this team at the moment? Is that a thing that they are aware of or are we just acting like it never happened? And it has once again been turned down. I just cannot get my way out of this team. That's quite interesting to see, I guess. But it is what it is. We got to keep on trying. After that, we're stepping up against Bradford. Watch me lose this now. That'd be great. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? Of course. Oh, we win. Surprise, surprise. Melor and Rotario score. I get subbed off in the 61st. Probably not a great performance. And no, it wasn't. Minus 15. Oh, please. Oh, please. Show me that we're up against Man United. Please. Where's the cup? Where's the FA Cup game? Why is it not showing up yet, man? Oh, Queen's Park Rangers. Hold on a second. Let's check out where Manchester United is. So we still have Arsenal in it, which is huge. Everton is obviously a very tough side as well to play against. Man United is up against Ipswich. QPR, technically speaking, should be much easier than Leicester, man. I want to make it through these rounds in the FA Cup. I want to match up against United so bad. But to be able to do that, we got to carry on this good form that we are on. The team is winning and it continues. Ronaldo Jr. with two goals this time. That's the first time he has scored two goals. Asante with the big one in the 89th minute. He has been incredible, hasn't he? What a beast. But the Man of the Match award belongs to us. Two goals for Ronaldo. Gets a 1,500 plus boost on XP. I do wonder how high we can actually take him once we go on on a transfer how high would his rating actually go with all the skill points used and distributed properly because we do have that archetype node turned on which we don't necessarily want for the future so taking the points away there we might end up like with like 20 skill points to spread out transfer request keeps getting turned down i don't think there's a chance for us to move away we will have to wait for any transfer offer to come in but that's not what I care about right now. All I care about is taking Salford to the next round of the FA Cup and the next one after that. I mean, we're not too far away from the end of the season anyways. We're already in January. So if we can't get a transfer, we can't get a transfer done. It is what it is. We're going to stick around with the squad and try and get the promotion and maybe get far in the FA Cup. Now, winning it would be absolutely unrealistic. I don't think it's going to happen, but being able to match up against United and maybe losing there against his dad, I'm fine with that. But... I'm still going to try my best. For the enhanced target, I'm going to go with the completed passes. I want to be a little bit nice to my teammates. Again, Rooney isn't on the pitch. It's Melor. The 63-rated striker is playing ahead of the 66-rated Rooney. That will never make sense to me. I uh, have a better team than we do, but we might just get a chance here. Here goes Cristiano down the wings. He has a defender chasing him down. Cristiano turns around again, sees his teammate, finds him. Quality pass. We get the attack going here. And that's it. That's the one. Mm, so close for Cristiano. We nearly had it done immediately in the 11th minute. I think it was green timed as well. That just shows our rating is not good enough to hit them every time. 90% of the time we do though. <laughs> good ball. Nice touch from Cristiano. Moving it around nicely. Oh, that's just beautiful football from us here, lads. Go on then, Melor. Good try. Ooh, they give it to me. They know this is my area. They know it. They know it. This is where I do it. Soon. <laughs> this kid. Oh, mate. Look, I get it. I get it. It might be unrealistic to some, but boys, this is a game and I am having so much fun. I... This is, these are the moments that I remember. Like, these are the moments where I'm like, I look back onto these videos years after, and I'm like, this was when I had fun playing the game, man. And look at this. Look at this absolute peach of a shot. The keeper is just watching. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, mate. You're an absolute legend. Single-handedly carrying Salford City through the rounds two three and maybe four now in the fa cup move it nicely you got some space here i'm gonna be running in behind that's a beautiful pass cristiano has defenders surrounding him he has to turn back he has to turn back he's tired mm. 
you could tell he couldn't even do the skill move because he was too tired there lads that just shows we gotta work on on our stamina for the future for sure if we play in the prem or something like that we need to be able to sprint down the wings for a lot longer than just 40 minutes look at my left back he's ahead of me what is this guy doing i'm gonna cry i'm actually gonna cry stop running so far ahead and into my space that's a decent steal we do still have it okay i'm gonna bring it down the center now for our team to move it forward nicely i got some space if you need me that's a quality pass isn't it we're gonna bring that back here cristiano Passes it across. Left back on the ball. He has the space and time now. I'm going to give him an option here if he needs me. That's a good pass. There we go, my lord. I needed to see that from you more often. Oh, Kai comes in. Yes, Kai comes in. 60th minute. 67th cross coming in. And we clear it. Do I get points for that? Oh, no, I'm injured. I'm on the ground injured. I am on the ground injured. Cristiano, after a clearance. What does this mean for our career? He's holding his knee. Oh, the ref is calling them in. There's no way. Is this the end of our season? What just happened there? Oh, mate. Oh, ah, did you see that right knee? Oh, did you see that right knee? Oh, that looked terrible. Did you see that? I need to show to you guys what just happened there. Uh, hold on. Watch the rest of the match. Let me replay this real quick if I can. Lads, that was awful. If you need to see it again, I'm going to show it to you here. What a painful thing to see happen to Cristiano there. Let's switch over to him and let's cry all together because this man is the one carrying the squad and now he has been taken out. As he goes for the header, both are going very low. All right, we get the ball, we clear it. We fall down, nothing special happens yet. But then look at this. Right here, he steps onto our onto our uh, th uh, thighs there, which is okay, no issue there. But look at his, look at that foot right there. Look at it right now. Oh, you see, you see what's happening to his right right foot. Look at that. Oh God, he's done. He's done for the season. He's actually done for the season. Well, there's nothing else left to do. We're gonna win or lose. Here he goes. We lost it. We lost it, man. 67th minute. That's uh, that's us done. We're done in the FA Cup. We're injured. It's the most anticlimactic thing ever. <sighs> so sad for him, man. So, so sad for him. He's talking to his coach there. Don't know what the issue is. I don't know if they're talking about the injury or what's happening here. But this might have just been the end of the season for Cristiano. This could be a three, four month injury. The lads seem aware of it. I just don't know what's going to happen here. What's the outcome of this? Is he done? Or is there still a chance for us to continue? <gasps> 211 days. Seven months, I told you. I told you our season is done. Our season is done. I can't believe it. At such a young age, it's the ACL. It looked terrible. And that's exactly what came out of it. A seven-month injury. I thought two, three months, we're done with the season. And we're, we're also possibly done for the start of the next season. I mean, oh, man. That's it. What are the news saying? The news are saying Salford City Ronaldo Jr. set for seven months out. At such a young age, our career is being hindered with an ACL injury. The question is, will anyone, anyone be willing to take us on next year? Is there anyone that says, all right, we know that you got injured. But until that point, you had 36 games with 22 goals and six assists. And you were doing well in the FA Cup. As soon as you got injured, your team fell apart. Now Salford City has to do it without me. Can they get top three? Can they get into the playoffs? I highly doubt it. There's nothing I can do. I can just watch on. Seven months. One, two, 
three, four, and that's the end of the season. We're not even in seven. That's it, boys. Our season is ending. I cannot believe that this has just happened. That looked like a horrifying injury as well. Like it, it looked exactly as bad as the injury turned out to be. Our career at Salford was good, but it's finished. I didn't think we would go towards the end of the season already, but it is what it is now. We're done. I can't believe it. Ah, no wins, draws and losses. That will not be enough for the playoffs. There's no way. Or maybe there is. What's going on here? All of a sudden, we're going unbeaten in four matches. Okay. Okay. Can they actually do it without us? Now, obviously, since I'm out, yeah, there's still 146 days. I can't do anything. We're first? I'm not going to be taking part in the promotion parties. Is that what it is? I won't be living through that moment. Oh, man, this hurts, you know. This actually really, really hurts. I thought... I thought we were going to be part of this journey, but... We were only there for half of the season and then the boys actually showing up and they're doing it maybe for Cristiano, maybe because he got injured for so long. But Salford City has gained promotion. They are going up into League One, 79 points, 71 goals scored, 46 assisted. I wonder, I just wonder, has Kai Rooney started playing now? Ronaldo with the 23 goals. Kai Rooney started playing now. 8 and 3, plus 3. Let's go, Kai. Let's go, man. I'm so happy for him. I'm so fa happy for him. I know we got injured and all that, but it seems like right towards the end of the season, he is playing and he's the captain now. Kai Rooney is the captain of the team now. So he is going to be playing every single game. That's nice to see. I'm proud of him, man. I'm proud of Kai Rooney. That just shows that next season, he will definitely, definitely be playing a big part for this club. I have submitted a transfer request. Nothing has happened yet as far as I know. I'm not going to withdraw from it. We are going to be moving to a new team. And Salford City has done it without us. It's a pain to not take part in it. But it's also a sense of pride coming in, knowing that we have contributed to this. And it's so nice to see Kai Rooney play a, such a big role in this as well at the end. That is it now, guys. Let's take a look at the FA Cup real quick. I want to see who did QPR play against after we lost against them. So round four, that's where we were. Uh, QPR obviously did beat us. Then they came up against who? against Chelsea. Yeah, they would have smacked us around. No chance. And then Manchester United didn't even, didn't even make it to the final. Spurs won the FA Cup. Congratulations to them. Let's see what happens now in Season 2. We're actually going into Season 2. Wow. As we go into the new season, there's still 53 days of our injury. And I don't know if I can actually do anything here. I can only retire my transfer request i cannot put in a transfer request while i am injured it's going to take us another eight weeks to get there it's going to be somewhere around here in august where we might actually be able to hop in there again so in league one now um let's see is there going to be any transfer offers i wonder i really do wonder the 23rd is the day on which we will return in the cup we have won. Surprisingly enough, we have won the cup. The next day on the 23rd, basically, we are going to be playing in the cup again. Now we are getting draws and wins and another win in the league. We're not doing too bad in league one, are we? And one thing I want to know is who is scoring these goals? Who is scoring them right now? Rooney is playing. He's 69 rated. Oh, this kind of makes me want to stay. <laughs> this kind of makes me want to stay, I have to admit. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about it right now. And I have now returned 
from the club uh, from my injury i have an offer from monterey again <laughs> stop <laughs> stop please stop asking to sign me i am not interested i am only interested in big teams and now our training sessions will begin again lads here's now the big question what do we do do we stay at the club to play alongside rooney finally to have our chance to play alongside him or do we leave knowing that rooney is growing that he is getting better and that we will probably match up against him in the future somewhere now obviously it's not it's not in my hands right now i can't do anything about it i can't put a transfer offer in a transfer request in so it all depends on what's going to happen but if there is an amazing offer coming in we have to think about it but seeing this seeing this it makes me kind of want to stay let me know in the comments down below boys what an insane season what a way to end it and what a way to start season two and rooney is our captain madness have a good one take care and peace